At first glance, this rotating chair may look like an amusement park ride, but it's actually a scientific experiment in progress at Brandeis University. And it's very exciting to work in, in that kind of environment where you really feel that no matter what you do, you're like on the brink of some discovery. Discovery is addicting to Jana Kaplan, a researcher at the Ashton Graybill Spatial Orientation Lab. Since 1982, lab staffers like Kaplan have studied human adaptation to various conditions of spaceflight, such as weightlessness, artificial gravity, and virtual environments, as well as human balance and posture, which can be helpful in medical fields. It sounds complex, but Kaplan finds joy in breaking it down for visitors. I think what we do is interesting. I'm, I'm like always fascinated by it and it makes me feel good when I see other people, especially people in the government who find interest in our work and who learn about the intricacies of scientific research. These visitors are from the Massachusetts State House. State Representative Kay Kahn, her staff and summer interns have come to learn about the lab and to experience the experiments. This machine is called an optokinetic drum. Typically, vision and walking are linked. They make sense together. However, when you get in this machine, it can create an illusion and make them seem disconnected. Do you see the walls moving? Yes. Okay, keep looking at them. Newton North High School student Rohan Bahalia is inside and noticing moving? the effects on his perception. His brain is creating an illusion. It felt like I was spinning in the opposite direction of the walls most of the time. Who knew that something like this was in our own backyard, some, a famous laboratory that really works on uh, weightlessness and motion. And uh, so I feel very fortunate to have had this opportunity. I met Jana uh, Kaplan uh, around uh, Hanukkah season and uh, she told me about what she did and I was fascinated by the fact that she actually gets in an airplane and flies uh, up uh, high and then they turn off the motors and they study uh, all about weightlessness. In fact, Kaplan has been flying with NASA's parabolic flight zero gravity program for 25 years. She's flown thousands of times. Each flight requires, you know, six months of everyday work, of preparation, building setups, preparing experiments, and then several months after the flight of data analysis. This tour is extensive. Kaplan is taking the visitors from room to room, explaining each piece of equipment. In the most simple everyday life, we do trivial things. You know, we touch our nose, we write, we, you know, do whatever we do at work. But behind it is a very complex uh, systems of our brain, of our body. The complexity is enormous, she says, but the scientific research to understand how they work is exhilarating and something everyone, scientist or not, should be able to enjoy. Marsha McEachern, Brandeis Now.